Hey, this is Trader Travis, and in this training, what I'm about to do is make a family freedom fund trade in my youngest son's account. I'm gonna invite you along to watch me go ahead and close out this trade, possibly open a new one. I'll, I'll explain the how. Well, first I'll show you the how, then I'll backtrack and explain why I'm doing that. But first, what I have is a short an investment quiz for you. Now, this is a story of, of me and Ryan, right? You, you've made it heard this before, so I'll, I'll be quick here. Ryan is a guy I started uh, learning options with. He took the same class I did at the same time. He was just roughly about seven years younger than me. And so in this example, I changed the details a little bit, but the underlying uh, principles and things that happened are 100% accurate. So let's imagine we both uh, traded with a $10,000 account, but we both lost money. Ryan lost a thousand dollars I lost five grand which is about accurate because when I first started this I was really greedy aggressive tried to get rich quick so I'd have like my my account would have like a roller coaster I'd have big wins but also big losses but let's move forward here Ryan with a nine thousand dollar account earns five percent a year I earn fifteen percent a year being aggressive on my five grand question is who gets to ten grand first now if you picked Ryan you're correct most people will pick me because they're like well I'm earning three times more compound interest, things like that. But the fact is, Ryan actually gets back to 10 grand in roughly two years. Me earning 15%, earning three times more money, it still takes me five years to get back to my original investment. So this example proves that you don't need to make more money. You just need someone to show you the principles of preventing a loss because losing money is a very unfair formula case in point if you ever enroll in the family freedom fund training a course I have you will get this handout and this handout I give to new students so they can understand the ramifications of losing money so during a market crash or bear market most people will lose 45 50 percent of their money what they don't realize is you need a hundred percent gain just to recoup the loss so if you had 10 grand you lost 50 percent you now have five thousand dollars in your account in order to get back to 10 grand, you would need to have a 100% increase. How often does the stock market earn 100%? They say on average, the stock market earns 7 to 9% a year. So you can see that every bear market will set you back at least seven to eight years. And this is something people are largely misinformed about. It's why they end up, you know, 65 years old and don't have enough to retire because someone didn't teach them this earlier down the line how to prevent yourself from losing this and that's really what the family freedom fund is about so let's come here back to this account and i'll show you one of the ways we ensure that we don't lose that much money so here's isaiah's trade here he is currently up about 46 dollars on this particular trade so let's come here to his account statement so you can see what happened here the family freedom fund pr pretty much uses two approaches to earn 15 percent a year Okay, never having a losing year. The goal is to never have a losing year. So we want to earn, not on average, but actually earn 15% a year every single year. And so one of the ways we do this is one of the secrets I learned from a billionaire investor. But first, Isaiah earned $74 here selling this particular option. What this does, without teaching you all ins and outs, I'll teach you all this if you ever enrolled in that training, but what this does is allow Isaiah, my youngest son, to get paid to buy stock he wants to own at the price he wants to own it at. And so he wanted to own this particular stock roughly 20% below where it was currently trading at. So he, he got paid to buy it at a discount if he has to buy it. That's a big if. So the way these contracts work, and these minis were recently created, they were created for people who didn't have large accounts. What a mini option contract does, well first let me tell you what a regular option contract. A regular option contract, if you're not familiar with stock options, let's come here to this account here. So let's just pull this one right here. This May 205 call option allows us, if we buy this, it gives us the right to buy this stock at the price of 205 on and before this expiration date, which is uh, third week of May, right? This represents 100 shares. So if I buy this, I have to buy 100 shares of this stock at 205. Well, not everybody has, you know, let's see, 205 times 100 shares. Not everybody has 20 grand in their account. So what the options uh, market did was create something called minis. Minis represent 10 contracts. So Isaiah sold one mini here. So what that is saying is that he would have to buy, if this contract is exercised, it's like an insurance contract, K, 
okay, you have insurance on your house. If your house burns down, your insurance company will come in and pay off your house so you can rebuild. Well, in exchange for that insurance, you pay the insurance company a premium. Well, this is the exact same thing. You're being an insurance trader. Someone paid Isaiah in a premium, a premium of $74, so he can give them stock insurance. And what Isaiah is saying is that, okay, if you exercise your contract, if this contract is exercised, I will buy 10 shares of SPY at $165. So roughly $1,650. And so in exchange for taking on that risk, he got paid $7480, okay? So let's do $7480 divided by $1,650. So just by taking on that risk, Isaiah earned an immediate 4.5% on his money. And this is a set it and forget it trade. He makes it and then he only has to come back next year. He, meaning his dad, because Isaiah is only five months old as I'm recording this. So he's not doing this, but I'm doing it for him. But when he gets older, I will walk him through it because it's very, very, very simple. It's a set it and forget it trade. It takes 10, 15 minutes, once every six months to a year. It really depends on how you set up the trade. But it's easy to grasp because it's literally... You're just being like the same insurance that people have on houses and cars. People just don't know you can do this in the stock market. So this was Isaiah's max profit here. And so that trade though, what happens is you receive your max profit up front, depending on how the stock performs after that will depend on if you keep your max profit. So he's received 46.85 of that max profit. So what I'm about to do is close that out. Why, you know, instead of receiving the full 74, so let's look at it, 46.85 divided by about 74. So I've already earned roughly 63% of my max profit. That's pretty good. And if I cash out here at 46 divided by the 1650 is that was at risk, that still gives me an immediate 2.8% return on my money. And this trade has only been open maybe one, one, two months. And that's better than most uh, CDs, right? And if I had a larger account balance, the, the numbers would be even better. But in this account, Isaiah only has two grand. So this goes to show people, people always wonder, you know, what size account I need. And, and you know, I was like, well, Isaiah is using a two grand account, so you don't need a whole lot. But what people will wind up doing is be like me. They'll be a profit snob and be like, I can't get rich off of $74. I'm like, well, no, but $74 compounded over time, you can. And these numbers grow pretty big because it's the same approach I'm using in his, other, his older brother's account. And that account, I think, has about 24, 25 grand in it. So the numbers do grow over time. And that's what people have to keep in mind. And so what I want to do is take a guaranteed profit right now versus my potential profit of 74. The reason I'm going to close this out is because usually I would set and forget it, leave the trade alone, come back when this option expires, about 260 some days. But what I see in the chart uh, is give me an indication that I may have a chance to sell another one here. So take this profit here, take it off the table, take my guaranteed profit, and then later on, if the stock falls again, I will just come right back in and sell another one, possibly earning close to another $74. So it's a way for me to compound more money. And so let's come to the chart and show you what I'm looking at here. So right now we're in stage four of a market crash. There's only four stages of a market crash. Every single market crash, every single market bottom, they've all went through these four stages. It's something we talk about in the Success Academy. So I won't have time to cover these stages here, but just know we're already in stage four. And I don't know if this will be a bear market. I don't know if the market will crash further. You know, what I teach my students to do is just trade what they see. Don't try to predict the market and things like that. Just kind of evaluate what's actually going on and get in alignment with that. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm drawing some simple support and resistance lines right here. So uh, bear with me. Don't get all uh, stressed out when I start drawing all these lines on the chart here. So this line down here at the bottom, let's zoom in here to one year chart. So this line here at the bottom is what they call support. It's where prices have fell down to but had trouble proceeding past. This very top line up here is resistance, is the highest the stock market has been in the last, what, this is the highest actually ever the stock market has ever been up here. And so it, it hit that high almost a year ago, and then it started falling in price. And it's been falling in price ever since then. That's what this third line I drew here. So ever since of July 2015, the stock market has been falling. It's had a lot of movement. It went down, went up. People are getting excited. But when you draw from the price high to where the, the stock is at right now, you can see that despite all this movement, it's had a slow, gradual decline. And it has not gone higher. It has not proceeded its higher high. This is what they call 
lower lows. Okay, so it's had a lot of movement and people are distracted by all this volatile movement here that they don't see what's actually going on. And what's actually going on is that it's slowly going down. So what I see right now is it's hitting this resistance, the descending line of resistance here, and it may crash back down here to this bottom, the support. If that does happen, that's when I will come back in and then sell another insurance contract to someone else who wants to insure their portfolio because people buy what they call protective put options. And this is all it is. Someone who owns a bunch of shares of stock, they want to come in and insure their stock just like you want to insure your house. And Isaiah, being the insurance salesman he is, will go in and say, yeah, sure. You know, I, I'd buy this uh, stock for 20 percent discount. You know, it's a general market. You know, instead of paying, you know, buying at the top like most people do, I'll buy it, you know, close to the bottom. And so he'll come in and insure that for someone else and get paid that premium. So what I'm going to do is take my profit here. I am OK and satisfied with the 46. Even if the stock keeps going up from here, I will be OK because I still booked a profit and I'll just rinse and repeat this trade a little bit later on. But, you know, I am hoping, you know, that it does go down so I can book my profit now and earn more profit again. So again, you know, guaranteed profits is better than no profits. So in this particular account, all you do is, you know, right click, create closing trade, and then I will buy this back. So let me pause this video. Let me review my order real quick. I will send this order in. Then I will be back to continue teaching you about this family freedom fund strategy. All right. So I've submitted that order. It's sitting here working now, waiting to get filled. Now, why I chose this particular option, it's really because of the guidelines of the Family Freedom Fund strategy. Now, this strategy is the primary strategy I use in our family's wealth building account. It combines growth with income. The income is what you saw here, this income trade. You literally click buttons and money shows up. So if I was to come in here and click this option right here, hit confirm and send, $420 would immediately show up in my account, just that easy. Again, it's like an insurance premium. If you go to your insurance agent and you get a contract, you get an insurance policy, do you pay them the same day? Yeah, most likely you do. So this is the same way. You collect your income right away. So it's a growth plus income. It's a long-term investing strategy with a side benefit of monthly income. The, long, the growth part, the long-term investing part comes from buying these stocks. You're buying stocks you want to own. So you're getting paid to buy stocks you want to own. That's the point most people miss. And then we follow two practical ways to virtually eliminate the possibility of losing money. Now, Dave Ramsey is one of the mentors I have. He's a guy who helped me get out of debt. Now, he has a saying. He says that if you do what rich people do, you get rich. And if you do what poor people do, you become poor. So what I did a, many years ago, almost 15 years, years ago, I set out to learn what rich people actually do. And one of the rich people I follow is Warren Buffett. Now, he has two several rules he's uh, famous for but one is rule number one never lose money rule number two never forget rule number one and he also has some other secrets he tells people is that the secret to getting rich on wall street is you, you you try to be greedy when others are fearful and you try to be fearful when others are greedy so what i did was actually put a strategy to his rules and philosophies and one of the ways of ensuring one of the two ways we try to ensure well we don't virtually eliminate the possibility of losing money, but we do eliminate the possibility of losing a lot of money. You know, losing money is something that will happen as an investor, but you don't have to lose a lot of money. That's something you're in control of. And one of the ways we do that is by following Warren Buffett's rule right here. Be greedy when others are fearful. Well, when are others fearful? Well, others are fearful doing market crashes right here. So if we pull up a 10-year chart, we look at this last market crash right here. People were fearful. People were committing suicide. People realized that they had to work another 10 years. Their dreams of retirement went down the drain with these stock prices. And so what I decided to do was, you know what? Let me just trust him. He's a billionaire. Who should you listen to? A broke financial planner who lives check to check like you or a billionaire? So I said, well, I'm going to listen to a billionaire. No offense to financial planners. I studied to be one <laughs> a long time ago, but it was just... The, the business model didn't work for me. I, I wanted to act, it, just long story short, just just say that didn't work out for me. So one of the ways we follow Warren Buffett is we make sure we buy stocks at deep discounts. 50 cents on a dollar. In translation, I prefer to only buy stocks during market crashes when they are at the bottom. And what this allows me, what this is, is just an assurance policy against losing a lot of money. So if we pull up a 20 year chart, 
here. Let's just run some numbers here. I won't use, you know, uh, picture perfect scenarios of people buying at the top, which people usually do. Let's say someone bought here right in the middle at 94.58, right where my mouse is at. It's saying the stock is at 94.58 here on April 2005. So it's in the middle. It's not the exact bottom. It's somewhere in the middle. Okay, and I just moved my mouse, so I moved the price. So let's now, where is it at? <laughs> All right, 94.58 here on April 1st, 2005. So 94.58, okay, the stock is at 204.90 now, mine is 94.58, so that's a $110 gain, okay, divided by where you bought it at, 94.58, you can see that if you bought there around April 2005, that you would have a 116% increase on your account if you held it that long to present day. Okay, 116%. Now, let's follow the Family Freedom Fund strategy where you're buying here at the bottom. In this case, 63.64. Okay, so 204.90 minus 63.64 divided by 63.64. Now, you can see what the increase is. Common sense, right? But you'd be surprised how often people don't use common sense when it comes to investing. Now, I know you're going to have fear. People have fear. Uh, emotions are running rampant during this time. So what you do is you set it up so that you don't have to think about it. It's set up automatically. And that's what Isaiah did here in this trade I showed you here earlier. He doesn't have to think about buying at a market bottom. He doesn't have to get over his fear. It's set up automatically. If the stock drops 20 to 40 percent like it does during a barrel market, his contract is going to be automatically exercised. And so he's going to buy at some of the lowest points it ever has. Not at the exact bottom, but close enough so that even if the stock market fell Let's say it fell 50%. Okay, he's buying it at a 20% discount. It fell 20%, he buys, it falls another 30%. In total, it fell 50%. Isaiah only lost 30% of his money. Someone who owned at the top or owned way back when, they lost all 50%. So again, it's an insurance policy to ensure we don't lose a lot of money. So you're not an innocent victim. You know, your investment strategy, you have a choice and people don't realize that. You want to set it up so that you never experience this. And that's what I want to, the biggest message I want to convey to you is that you're not an innocent victim. You do have choices and you have people willing to show you different ways to make sure that losing 50% of your money does not happen. And one other point here that people may not realize is what I'm showing you here about buying at the market bottom. So guess what? If you've been brainwashed like I was to be a buy and hold investor, a dollar cost average, when the stock market crashes, they say, keep investing, right? It'll come back. You're just going to buy more shares cheaply. Guess what? We're not doing anything differently. We're doing the same thing. We're buying and holding. We're just doing it smarter. Instead of throwing our good money after a stock that's falling in price, we just wait it out. We wait for the stock to actually fall in price and then take all of our money and buy it close to the bottom. So we're still dollar cost averaging. We're just doing it in a smarter approach. We're just buying them at a lower price. And it's not something I'm just telling you to do. It's something I actually did. And so if you've ever enrolled in any of my trainings like the Success Academy, you might have seen my 401k brokerage statement where during the last market crash, I followed this principle and that 401k account wound up doubling and tripling in value by using this market crash and using this approach I'm telling you about right now. So just imagine if you follow Warren Buffett's principles, you stayed mostly in cash and you only bought stocks when they were on sale. That's how he became a billionaire. And that's why many other people are still chasing their tails, trying to get rich quick because they're not listening to what Warren Buffett is saying. He's saying never lose money and don't forget that. And also you need to be greedy when others are fearful. Don't take this as some cute saying actually meditate on it and devise a strategy that implements these rules. Okay, so that's approach number one to virtually eliminate the possibility of losing a lot of money. Approach number two is something we use called risk management or money management. Now, last week I made some other family freedom fund trades here as an example in another training I recorded. And so without um, going over all those examples, those trades right now are up about $80 right now. And so what I did, actually, let me look at the account statement here. And so we can see these options. The Apple trade is up 49%, negative 10%, 23%. So you can see the different percentages here. But we'll come back to these in a second. What I want to do is 
I want to look at the actual dollar amount I invested here. So I can show you, mm, actually, you know what? That's going to take too much time. I will just show you here with my calculator. So that way you don't have to wait for me to show you. Let's imagine I had a 10 grand account. Now one of the risk management principles, I altered this a bit from the million I learned this from, but I teach my students that if you have a 10 grand, whatever size account you have, try not to risk more than 2% of your entire account on any one trade. For example, if I had a 10 grand account, I don't want to risk more than $200 per option position. So when I'm looking for trades like this, Apple, LLY, SO, what I am trying to do is try to find options that are priced around 200. So when I make this investment, I don't want to spend give or take no more than 200. You know, it's not going to be exact, but give or take. And on top of that, have no more than 10% of my entire account out in positions at any one time. So $1,000. So a 10 grand account, $1,000. Why is that? Because of what I learned in the beginning with Ryan. I realized that if I never lose a lot of money, I don't look, this 15% return, I still didn't beat Ryan. It still took me five years to get to 10 grand. It took Ryan two years because he didn't lose a lot of money. So I learned early on that if I make sure I don't lose a lot of money, I don't need to make the 15%. I could have something as easy as 5% and I would do just fine. All right, so that's what I learned way back when. Another reason we follow that again, remember I told you, I am trying to ensure myself against losing a lot of money. So when I follow this 2% rule, 50 times two, I would have to have 50 losing trades in a row before I completely blew out my account. That's very unlikely. All right. However, if I'm aggressive like I used to be or like some of these other students I see who are impatient, they just don't want to wait. They're profit snobs. Like I say, they don't like the seventy four dollars that I showed you a few minutes ago in Isaiah's account. They're like, oh, I want more than that. Well, they get aggressive and they invest like a thousand dollars per trade and they have a 10 grand account. Well, following that approach, you have 10 losing trades in a row, you blot your account. And having 10 losing trades in a row is very likely. 50 trades losing trades in a row, unlikely or highly unlikely. But 10 losing trades in a row, yeah, that, that's very likely. I've had those unlucky streaks. And so you want to make sure you survive those. All right. So again, coming back here to these trades. Now, this these trades have only been open a week. They were up about $80 a few minutes ago, but they were up. Now they're up about $73. So they're up. It's a pretty slow start. Nothing to, you know, get excited about. Well, it is. I'm making money. <laughs> you, you know, you, you can't complain about that. But what I want to show you that, uh, you know, it took me, it cost me like nine grand to enroll in my options course. But let's say it was a thousand dollars to enroll in a course to learn how to do this right. Divided by $73 a week. So you'd recoup your investment. That's if these trades are starting out slow. It's usually a little bit better than this. But let's use the exact numbers they're at now. So that's showing that it would take you about 13 weeks to recoup your investment. So about three months, okay? Three months to recoup your investment in a $1,000 investment course that taught you how to do this. Guess what? I've been doing this 15 years. The rest of the money is yours to keep for the rest of your life. The return on investment is infinite, and that's what people don't get. They're like, oh, these investment courses are expensive. Yeah, because you don't know what you don't know. And luckily, I had a millionaire mentor help me with my stinking thinking and tell me that, Travis, this guy's going to show you how to be a millionaire for about five grand. That's a bargain. And if you recoup your investment in a year, you have the rest of your life to use this. He was right. And as they say, you know, I enrolled in that course and the rest is history, but I'm not here to convince you. I'm just sharing with the wisdom and the knowledge that my mentors passed on to me, as well as <laughs> the analogy of college. I just talked to a guy the other week. Um, he has a hundred grand in student debt and he got out of college and only made 40 grand a year. But people say at a thousand dollar investment course is expensive when they have 30, 40, 50 grand in student debt. And they usually get out of school making less than what their student debt is. But I won't go there. That's that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. So basically, all I'm saying is, look, even if you never enroll in any investment course I teach, if you just follow the 210 principle I just taught you a few minutes ago, never risk more than 2% of your account on any one trade, never have more than 10% of your account out at any one time. If you just follow that, you will consistently make more money than most people because most people 
have that roller coaster profit and loss like I used to have, and I always know what it is, is their risk management. They're risking too much on your trades. Don't intellectually argue with the example like most people do. Just follow it. Follow it for six months and come back to me and then tell me how it's worked out for you. All right, but this video is getting too long, so I am going to have to let you go. I just wanted to show you that trade. I'm going to check out my son's trade here to make sure it gets filled. So again, this is just a family freedom fund approach. It's a long-term strategy I use with a side benefit of monthly income. Our target is to earn 15% a year. And while we have that target, it's because our kids, on the day they're born, we put $2,000 into an investment account. Then each year on their birthday, we add another two grand to that account. 15 years for 30 years, you can see that when they're 30 years old, that account will have $1.1 million. That's our target. We usually can earn a little bit more, but I keep it at a low end to make it very achievable for most people. And the two primary approaches we take, we come at it from different directions to make sure we get to 15%. We take really four approaches, two, two primary approaches and two bonus approaches. Primary approach number one is getting paid to buy stocks at deep discount prices. I just showed you that. Primary approach number two is following Warren Buffett's rules. We want to buy during market crashes. And then some investors or some traders, they like to supercharge their investment returns. So they add on two other approaches. And that's renting out stock shares, which I won't have time to get into. I don't cover that in the Family Freedom Fund training. And then we have buying just straight calls and puts. And that's a PR template. And that's what you just see here. These uh, investment returns right here. These ones that just in one week are up 47%, 25%. And also on the downside, down 15%, down 10%. So you can see the kind of volatile nature of options, how much the price swings can happen in such a short period of time, because most people don't get this in a year. But with options, you can get this in a week, both in the positive and the negative. And so you have to keep that in mind. So I hope this video has added some value to your life. You know, and I just want to leave you with a final takeaway here. You really don't know what you don't know. And luckily I had a mentor teach me about losing money. Now I, I I'm not, I'm going to admit his teachings went in one year one it went in one ear and out the other. It took me ten years to kind of wise up to what he was teaching me. But I just my heart goes out to all the people trying to learn this on their own, and they have no clue about the danger of losing money. They have no clue that examples like this, how one guy can get to 10 grand in two years earning only 5%, but the guy earning 15% still takes five years, three years longer. Because most people would think, oh, I'll get there quicker when I make a big return. Like they lose money. They will lose half of their account and brush it off like it's no big deal because they're like, oh, I trade options. I can make 15, 20 percent a year. Yeah. But you don't realize that it's going to take you five years just to get back to break even. They don't have a mentor. They're out self-educating. They're out losing money. And no one's actually showed them this breakdown here that when you lose a certain percentage, how much you need to get back to break even. So as I've said in other trainings, you know, you can go figure all this stuff out on your own. You will absolutely screw around and lose money. It's just the part of learning this. That's why my mentor had done all the growing pains and lost all the money for me so he could teach this to me. You know, when it comes to building wealth, you can either figure it out on your own or you can get a mentor. As, as my mentor used to say, you know, results don't lie. You're either rich or you're not. And I want to say that if you are not currently earning at least 15% a year in both up and down markets, then I'd love to work with you to get you there. If, if you're not successful at investing, if you were where I was at like 15 years ago, please don't be like me and let your head trash and get in the way and make excuses or rationalizations. It's really simple. My mentor is right. Either you're successful or you're not. And if you're not, I'm offering my help and assistance. I do have right now a few opening spots in the Family Freedom Fund training. I have put the course outline below for you to look at to see if this is right for you. And I also put together an FAQ video where some of the more common questions about this strategy are addressed. So hopefully those answers can help you figure out if this program is a good fit for you. If not, you know, I, don't worry about it. There's no pressure. You know, this is only for those who want to earn at least 15% a year from their investment strategy. Those who are okay with a long-term growth strategy. Those who don't want to get rich quick, but are okay with get rich slow. So if you have any questions that are not covered in this video, as well as the FAQ, just let me know. You know, I'm here to help. So you take care. Again, I hope this video has added some value to your life to show you some of the possibilities you have as an insurance trader. So take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.